Hi you guys, so today we're doing Roxy's Weekly Challenge 2024 Week 36 Hinged Tags. And so mine, I put a little twist on them and I made a hidden pocket on them. These are some samples that I made. I'll go over those in just one second. I wanted to kind of show you how they would fit inside of a journal. So this is just my little spooky journal. And what you would do is you could put them inside of your journal. You could glue the hinge part, which is a piece of fabric. You would glue it right here and then it could fold in just like this and then you would just open it up like that. And so that's the hinged part. You could glue it right here in the middle of the page. You could glue it wherever you want really. You could glue it on the front of your book right here if you wanted. So wherever you want to do it, you could just put it inside of your journal. I just wanted to show you how it would look. And these are my samples that I made. I wanted to make you a couple of samples today so you could see what we're doing in the tutorial. And so this one is more of a fall one. It's a little bit spooky, but not really. And then inside of it, this is the hidden pocket part. It has this area where you could tuck something in there and then you could journal on it. It's just a little fall journal card that I made. And then it just gets tucked inside. So you could just put whatever you want inside of them. And then on the back, there's another little pocket right here. And then you can write on the little card that you put in the pocket. So it's just another little journaling space tag on the back. And then this is another one that I made. This is just a little spooky one. And then there's the back of it. It has another tag with some journaling space on the back. And you can use whatever scraps and papers and everything that you have. And of course, this one I had to put a monster inside <laughs> because, because you know how I am. And then inside of this, this opens up and you can journal on the inside of that. I just thought it was kind of cool to put a little monster guy in there. Anyway, so then you would just stick that on and it flips. I love it. I love this idea. It's super cool. And then this one is the third one. This one is a little bit bigger, but you can make them any size you like. Whatever size fits in your journal, whatever size scraps you have. And then this one has like a little spooky ghost on it. And I have the grabby box and I was just using up some of my ephemera that came in it. And then inside of this, it has a little journal card super fun. And then on the back, I just put this piece of paper on here because I thought it was cool, but I didn't want to cover it up. So I didn't put a pocket on the back. I just left it like this. So I thought that was kind of cool. All right. So those are what they look like. Let's get started and make a few so you can see how you make them. So the first thing I did, I have a couple of samples that I've already cut out, but I have some paper. So I just kind of went into my scraps and I found some scraps that were about the right size. Basically, I made them five and a half by three. And then the other one, the, I made two of them five and a half by three. And then this one was uh, four inches by, because of the flap, you can't really see the side but four inches by five and a half. You can do whatever you like. If you want to do a wider one, this one is three and three quarters. We can just use that because that's cool. And then what we do is we go ahead and cut off the top and make it into a tag, just like this. And then what I did is I prepare it by just putting a little notch on the side. And this is just if I'm going to do a hidden pocket. You can watch Rachel's version if you want to see them without the hidden pocket. And then I went around and inked them. And you don't, of course, have to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This one looks like it's off just slightly on the top. I'm going to go ahead and just trim that. Okay, so that's kind of what I did to get it all set up so that we could make the tags. So I have a couple of others that I got all set up. I'm gonna quickly just do this one too, just for fun. Okay, so now we have four that we can work with. Let's go ahead and get them all set up and we'll decorate them because that's the fun part, right? All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I want to glue them closed. So on these, what I did was I just glued across the bottom, and then I glued across this side and this across the top. And I left this part open so that I could stick 
the um, hidden tag inside of it easier. And then I'm going to go ahead and just glue these. Okay, so those are all glued shut. Let's see how we want to decorate them. I feel like I want to do a spooky one on this one and maybe this one. I'd like to get some torn paper to put on this one. And I'm going to go ahead and tear this one. I had some scraps of torn cardstock. And I thought that would be kind of cool looking on this one with the map on it. Just because it seemed kind of busy with the map on it and I thought that would be kind of cool to put this on it and then go ahead and decorate it. All right, so now they're just ready to decorate. I have this, um, I have this like little stack of paper from the grabby box and it's all just kind of Halloween, spooky, that kind of stuff. And I thought I had cut this out. This is where I cut out the ghosty for the other one that I made. I cut out the little ghosty right there. And this actually is a tuck spot and you could put another tag in here. So I left it like that. I thought it would be cool. But I thought, I love this. I wanna put like maybe the boo and a ghost or something on the front of that. That'd be kind of cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out the boo. Like something like that I was thinking oh yeah we could do that that's cute oh my gosh I love it so we'll go ahead and I'm gonna just I'm not sure if I need to ink around this or if you'll even see if I ink around it I don't think you will I'll just ink on this side where the ghosty is that's so cute gosh I love it he's like saying hi kind of <laughs> that's so funny that one's cute I don't want to put too much on them to make them like overboard all right so the next one I'm kind of thinking it had some stickers and stuff that's kind of that are kind of cool see like that that's really cool maybe like this one oh that one kind of looks like it could go on there hmm it has like two of every sticker. Hmm. They're kind of similar though, right? I think I'll do another spooky on this one. Let's see what else we have that we could put on there. So it also came with all these little things that you can add to there. So like you could add these little ghosts to there. This is kind of cool with these bats. You know, maybe I could fold this and this will be inside of it. And then what would we put on the outside? You know what would be fun? Let's let's just make a little monster with this polka dot and we'll glue him to the outside of it, right? And then let's put a little face on him. I'm gonna go ahead and use the glue stick. And then I have my black pen. Let's go ahead and draw some eyes. I'm gonna do one eye. I was gonna do one eye big, one eye little, but I decided against that at the last second. That's cute. I'm gonna put some lashes on. Oh my gosh, cute. Okay, and then maybe she has lips. Because she has lashes, she has lips. I'm doing it. Okay, and you know what? I saw this little witch hat. Let me see if I can find it. There was all these little things in one of the envelopes like this. There's like all this little stuff and there was a witch hat. Oh my gosh, <laughs> maybe she has a witch hat on. That is cute. Okay, or maybe is it to the side? What, what do we think? Uh, like that maybe, yeah. Oh my gosh, I love her. I'm gonna make her lips, I think I have purple. I feel like she should have purple lips. Oh my gosh, 
she's cute. Okay, I feel like she should have some little antennas as well. Oh, it could be purple. Let's see what these look like. Maybe we do something like this. Say they look like that. Oh my gosh. Let's just cut them a little bit shorter. I don't want them going off the side of the tag, although they could, but you'd have to reinforce them, I think. There we go. She looks a little crazy, but that's how we like her. Let's go on to the next one. Let's go ahead and do this one. I do like this. Let's see, do we want anything behind it or, hmm. I kinda feel like it should have some brown element on it. Okay, let's see, maybe I put it over here. There's something in here that we might want to put on the top of it. I kind of wonder, what if we just put it like that and I cut it right there? That's cute. Yes, I like that, that's cute. We'll save the other ghost for something else. Okay, and then this one was gonna just be a fall maybe. Let's go ahead and see what we have in here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, I feel like that is it. Look at that, Oh, Should she be at the top? And then maybe we could put some words down below maybe, like, I could put September, that's cute. Oh, okay, she's cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that one. Now this was just from a little journal card and it had the month of September below it, but it was from last year that I never used. So it was like an old calendar month and I thought, well, I could use the word still. So I just cut it off. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one on there and then let's get our little fox on there. Okay, so we've decorated the front of all of these. They're super cute. Now we're going to go ahead and make some cards for the inside of them. I'm going to go ahead, I like this one for the inside of this, the little monster because I like the color is kind of a similar color. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to cut it off. Let's see. I want it to fit in here. Wait, maybe I want the big bat in the middle. So I'm going to cut it off like about right there. We'll save the scrap. That's cute. So this will just go inside of here like that. Oh, I like that. Okay. And then let's go ahead and pick out a little whale tail for it. I kind of want to make sure that the whale tail, I like it when it hits right in the middle of that little circle that I cut out. so that when I put it in, it just sits right there. Well, that's cute. All right, and then do we wanna decorate the inside of it at all? I have like this little, I have a couple of washies here. This one has some green pumpkins on it, that's cute. We'll go ahead and put this on here. Oh, I love it, okay. And then let's go ahead and do this one. What are we gonna do? do a card on the inside of this one. Okay, so it fits. And then what do we want to put on the whale tail? Maybe that. So 
this one's just a little card that you can journal on either side. Do we want to put a decoration on it? I feel like it might be cute to put something on the inside. I always like to decorate it and have like a little surprise on the inside when you open it up. Let's do this. on the inside. Okay, and then what are we going to do for the inside of this one? Hmm. I like this one for the inside of this, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut that one. I'm going to round the corners on this one. And then pick out something that matches, maybe, or... Ooh, that's made of the same thing. You know what I'd like to do is put something on the inside that you could write on because this is a little bit busy to write on. I'm going to go ahead and get out our little standby for writing on. I like this. And then I feel like we should put like a little, maybe a pumpkin or something over here. I have some other scraps of paper. And look, this has pumpkins on it. I kind of want to fussy cut one out real quick. And then just glue it on there. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love it. Okay. Pumpkin guy over here. Cute. Gonna go ahead and put our little whale tail on. Okay, it's not covering my pumpkin. I love it. All right, now we'll go ahead and put this in here. Cute. Okay, and now we just need to do this one. We could do the plaid. Let's do that. Okay, you know what? We're gonna make a monster because I have to. So now I can cut it into a little monster. Let's see. Maybe he's going to look like this. He's going to look different. He's going to have a big head. Like that. Like that. That's what he's going to look like. And then I'm going to put a tag on the side of him, but I have some of this left. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we do this. We're just going to make a tag for the side of his head because I don't know how a whale tail would look on the side of a little monster's head. And then that should go right. Okay, and now we'll make his little face. going to have one big eye and one little eye. There. Oh, he's cute. Okay, cute. And then on the inside, you can go ahead and journal. He's cute. Now he's going to go inside of here. Now you can make pockets on the back and then go ahead and fill them if you like. Like, look at that. Oh, I'm going to use this as the tag that goes in the pocket. And then let's see what kind of pocket I would want to put on. I'm going to go ahead and round the corners. I'll go ahead and put a little bit of washi tape on the inside. This one can be in this back pocket. Okay, and then now what we're going to go ahead and do is put fabric on the sides so that we can make our flips just like that. So on some of these I put the fabric on the back and some of them I put the fabric on the front. So like on this sample I put the fabric on the front 
And then with these, because we decorated them already, I'm gonna go ahead, let me just see what our fabric looks like, how we wanna put it on. I have several just little pieces of torn fabric, like this one, oh my gosh, that is cute. I feel like I wanna do this one on the boo one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it right here. Okay, that's cute. Okay, and then what will we put on the monster? You know what, I have this scrappy piece of fabric and we could use this. I'm just gonna use it, it's kind of cool. Use that. I like that. All right, and then let's see, what will we use for these? Kind of like the denim with this one. And then for this one, I feel like maybe we will use this. I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put something over this, like a little piece of rickrack to decorate it, like this. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, cute. I like that one. And then let's go ahead and just put the stuff on the backs of these. This one we could put another fall digital on the back. That's cute. We can go ahead and make that a tuck spot. So we can just glue across the bottom and the sides. Like that. And then we can put a little card inside of there. I kind of like this. I'm gonna need to get out the trimmer because I can't cut straight. There we go, that's cute. I think I wanna round the top corner. And I have some little fall washi. Cute. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, that one's cute. So this one is a spooky one. Let's go ahead and put something on the back. Let's see, we have this green. That would be a cute thing to put inside of the pockets. Actually, we could make the pocket with this. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside of the pocket. I like that. Cut out this little ghost and put him on the front. Cute. Oh my 
my gosh, he's so cute. Okay, put him like that. I love how this one turned out. Oh my gosh, that is cute. Okay, and then this last one. Hmm, what do we want to put on the back of this one? I feel like this is kind of cool. Like, what if we did something like this where it, we cut it like that? Let's see. Let's see how this is going to go. Okay, so it's like this. And of course, I need to cut it straight first <laughs> because this is all straight. That seems cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then we'll just glue down this. Okay, so now we have a tuck spot here and we have this leftover we could put in here. Or what else do we have? Oh yes, we could just put a piece of paper in here to journal on. Put it in straight up, but I was thinking we could put it. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. He needs to go on there. Just like that. Oh my gosh, cute. Cute. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. I'm going to just fold the bottom up, I think, on it. What's interesting is this art glitter glue worked really well on the vellum. Like you can't even really see it through the vellum. Cute. Super cute. Look at that. Oh, okay. I love how these turned out. Okay. Let's go through everything we made. Oh my gosh. Today was a long video, but it was fun. So we made this one, which was really fun, really cute, with a little journaling card hidden inside of it. And then this on the back with some journaling space. Super cute. I had made this one already with a journaling card on the inside. We made this one with a little monster and a journaling card on the inside. And then on the back, some more journaling space. Super cute. A fall one with a journaling card on the inside. And then another journaling spot on the back. Another fall one with a little monster on the inside and some journaling space. That one is, that's one of my favorites, I think. And then we have a little journaling space on the inside. Cute. And then we have this one. It has a monster on the inside that flips out you can journal on. That one's cute too. This is a favorite. But I like all the monsters, right? And then on the back it has some journaling space and a little card. And then this one with some journaling space on the inside. This is another fall one fall and spooky. And then a little journaling card on the back. Oh my gosh, I love how they all turned out. So cute. So many of them. You definitely have to try this. Just make one or two for your journal. It's so much fun. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.